what should we do? I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's talk about Spider-Man 2002. <laughs> It's been a really long time since I've gotten my brain around Spider-Man 2002. I know it's been probably one of my favorite movies since I was a kid, and I wasn't even really around when that came out. I, I didn't see it in the theaters, which I wish I would have because uh, I heard that Spider-Man 2002 in the theater, like seeing it, was mind-blowing. Now, I was mind-blown a long time ago when I was little. Uh, you know, just seeing that movie for me personally, like just looking at the special effects, to the lessons in the movie and to pretty much Sam Raimi executing a amazing Spider-Man movie. Uh, you know, Spider-Man 2002, what it means to me is probably, it just set the bar high for like many superhero movies because you know, during the time of two, early 2000s, Marvel movies weren't that big, you know, they weren't really um, over the top. I know a lot of people really liked uh, you know, like Iron Man, like those were early 2000s movies, but they weren't popular as nowadays. But I mean, I think Spider-Man 2002 is just one of those movies that you just go and remember. And like, right when you hear the music of Danny Elfman, you hear that Spider-Man music, you're like, that's the one, like that is the trilogy. Now, I think the one thing that I really like about Spider-Man 2002 is the fact that it had pretty much the whole origin story was perfect. They had Uncle Ben that you know, died, they had, you know, the human spider, they had him in this wrestling outfit, uh, they had organic webbing, which was different, and if you guys actually look at a lot of the unused stuff, they actually were going to have the Alex Ross stuff, they were going to have the Green Goblin, uh, actual animatronic, I think, Green Goblin, they had, uh, tons of just different stuff, they had actually a other Raimi suit, which kind of looked like the ultimate suit. Now, they were going with different things, and, you know, Spider-Man uh, 2002, they, they were experimenting. You know, they didn't know what the fans really wanted, and they were experimenting with different things with, you know, those uh, stuff that we didn't get in the film. But the organic webbing, I always liked that part about Spider-Man, but, you know, when I read into it, I was like, wait, Spider-Man doesn't even have organic webbing. Like, what the heck is this? So, like, I'm, like, reading some comics, and it's like, he has web shooters? Like, that was, like, my first kind of, like, Okay, this is different, but I always found that the movie uh, with, you know, Green Goblin, with Harry Osborn, with Mary Jane, with Peter Parker, I just think, like, those characters, uh, like, it's just so hard to explain. It's just something that, like, you, you just went, in the, like, in the theater, or you saw it on VHS, like, that's what happened to me. I put it in VHS, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, whoa, like, this, this is something else. Like, this is really amazing. Like, I love that they use... Uh, Green Goblin's glider and you know just the effects back in the day that it just looked like it looked mind-blowing Like it was like whoa like this is like brand new stuff and Spider-Man 2002 really like is One of those Marvel movies that it's just you can't forget that movie now I know like you can compare it to a lot of like, you know, like homecoming and stuff and you know They just use a lot of CGI But I just really loved how Sam Raimi ended up using like practical effects just a lot more and you know they were considering using web shooters and I think they were considering using the Twin Towers. I think they used it in the trailer. But just a lot of the stuff that goes around Spider-Man 2002 for me anyways. Uh, it's probably just one of my favorite movies that I really like. And I know a lot of people really enjoy it. And just to see that choice where you know like Green Goblin has Mary Jane and has those kids on the bridge. For me when I was watching that I was like whoa like this is like this is it. And like he drops them and it's like you don't even know what Spider-Man's gonna do like at the moment and then the music plays and it's just one of those scenes that it's just like wow like this like this is like incredible like I just love the storytelling like he really executed that uh, like just perfectly and I just really enjoyed how like Sam Raimi was able to do not only the origin story but he was able to change it up a bit you know I liked how he used the human spider suit I really liked how they incorporated organic webbing and it made it more realistic like you know other movies like Tasm and Homecoming they don't really have that so to see Sam Raimi's kind of version of the character I mean like it's just it's just amazing and I cannot believe that like it's been what it's been like 17 years since like Spider-Man 2000 like it's it's crazy like I don't know 
Uh, Spider-Man 2002, though, like, I just wanted to talk about it uh, and give my thoughts on it. Like, I just think it's probably just one of those films that a lot of people can go and be like, that's a really good movie. And, you know, like, it's just the storytelling with it, with, like, you know, how, like, you know, at the end, Harry Osborn wants revenge on Spider-Man, but what he doesn't know is, like, Peter Parker's Spider-Man. So it's, it sets up a whole thing, like, a whole arc where it's just, like, all these characters have something that they want you know we want like you have peter parker that wants to marry jane but he can't because he's spider-man and then you have it where like mary jane wants peter but they, it's, it's a whole like mess up and then you know you have when you go into spider-man 2 that's a whole another video but like i think spider-man 2002 it's just it's just one of those movies that uh, really set the bar high for a lot of Marvel movies, and I think a lot of Marvel fans can agree with me that, you know, when you're, when you're at home and like you're you're given like a VHS, right, and like you're looking at it and it's just like what the heck's this, and you put it in, it's like you watch the whole movie, and then when the movie's done, it's like oh my god, like that movie was just amazing. So I think, you know, for me anyways, I think I watched it like at least over a million times and like you guys are probably like, why is this guy making a video on Spider-Man 2002 well I think the main reason is is because you guys want me to talk about the movie and like you know just talking about the film like I don't know like it's just lost for words like it really is uh, an iconic movie and Sony really did a, an amazing job and, you know Sony has done really good Spider-Man movies in the past so, I mean, you know, whatever they do in the future, I really do think that they could do a good job again if they have the right people on set. And, you know, somebody like Sam Raimi, uh, you know, he's, like, the perfect guy to do other films. But, again, like, Spider-Man 2002 is, like, just one of those Marvel movies that I think a lot of people just really uh, enjoy. And what do, you, what do you guys think about Spider-Man 2002? Like, what's, like, how did you get introduced by the film? Like, I know that my brother actually gave me a VHS and, like, told me to watch it. I watched it and, you know, I was mind blown and then I ended up using the one robbery scene from the channel to like where I missed the part where that's my problem and then I was like, you know what, miss the part's a really good name, I'm gonna use that. And I did and, well, I think this is what we got, but tell me what, how you got introduced by this film or uh, the entire trilogy all together, but anyways. Uh, if you guys did enjoy my little rambling, uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and turn your notifications on so you and your friends can stay all to date with the latest content. But anyways, so, woo! Hey. I missed the part where that's my problem.